Hi, and welcome to the 409 Sports Blitz live in Winnie, Texas, where it is in the 40s right now. So I've got my gloves on. He's, he's a tough guy. I don't need the gloves. I'm a tough guy. Yes, he's a tough guy. Midwest for a while. We just say Winnie. Winnie. Texas, yeah. There we which, go. Okay, there we go. Now we did it. Okay, so, now, now we can move on. Tonight, a district championship was on the line here in 12-3A Division One between East Chambers and Anahuac. East yep. Chambers, we expected them to be here. Anahuac, they were the surprise team. No, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, what Coach Greg Nice has done, this turnaround has been fantastic, but... They could be no match for my man, EC3, Ernest Caesar the third. We'll take a look at these highlights now. It's the 4 9 Sports Blitz Game of the Week. The Game of the Week, brought to you by Acadian Ambulance. And it was homecoming out here in Wee! Texas as East Chambers <laughs> took on those Anahuac Panthers and oh my goodness we have a pooch kick on the opening kickoff of the game and it works to perfection. The Buccaneers recover two plays later. This is going to happen. Knowlton Shelvin, he is going around the edge and you cannot stop that man. Look at his moves all the way through that secondary. He's going to go 35 it. yards to the house for the score. Making it look easy. Buccaneers, they go up 7 to nothing at this point. Then how about Ja'Cory Perron? He's going to spin out, go around the edge, and he's into the end zone looking like Jamie Paul. Oh, that's another shout-out. PNG class of 98. Touchdown there. Nine yards out. It's 14-0. Now, Peralt's going to go to the air, my friend, but this time he's going to get picked off by Landon Corbett, and you thought maybe, hey, that momentum was going to slow down a little bit. Anawax got some back, but they couldn't get any points out of the drive. Here comes East Chambers again. It's a short touchdown run by Ernest Caesar. The, the third. 21 to nothing at this point. Now, Peralt's going to swing it out to Caesar. And look at the balance. He's staying in bounds. He's going to go 44 yards down the sideline. EC3. Touchdown, 28 nothing. Now, he would leave the game. He was in a walking boot. They tell me he's going to be okay. Just before the half, though, Foster Kreitzer to Zion Clark. It's a score 28 to 7. But as we go to the final, it is all East Chambers. Your final was 45. To 14. Congratulations to the Buccaneers. They've clinched a share, at least, of that district title. No, I mean, it, I mean, here's the thing. We're pretty. You're very close to your prediction. I was mm -hmm. way off. I think I said 24 to seven. You, 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 you were right. I, I will actually fell down to you this week. So for that one, I'm terrible at predicting World <laughs> Series games, but I got the football oh, thing down pretty good. Terrible at predicting World Series. Oh, and four. Oh, let's not even talk about. And that. what this sets up, it means East Chambers will be the number one seed out of the district because no matter what happens, they've yep. already beat Orangeville. They've already beat Anawak, so it's impossible for them. Well, no, actually, carry the one. No, yep. Uh, East Chambers I, I, I'm, got number I'm not one good at math, so don't even look at me when it comes to math. That, that's my wife. Now let's take another uh, look at the scoreboard here yep. for the rest of the district. There was some other district action from 12-3A Division One, and this is how it looked from around the area. Orangefield goals on the road, 37 to six over Warren. So they're going to be playing Anawak next week. The winner of that game will get the number two seed out of the district. So there you go there. And Buna, they take care of business. They knock off Harden, 28 to nothing. That's not a shock there with Buna. Look at them. Buna's we, we, we actually ran into some fans from Buna the other day. At they did. Another score from that district also up in Wolville. Woodville it was. wins the battle <laughs> of the Vils. 48 to 7 over Kirbyville. So there you go. Eagles getting back in the wind column. Yep. Now